Today, we will go over how to complete a proposal quote tool. You will need the following items in order to complete a proposal. One, a census sheet. This is completed by the employer and includes the employees that will participate in the private exchange. Two, summary of benefits. This is an overview of their current plan design. And three, a recent invoice. This is the most recent invoice from the carrier that outlines the individual's monthly premium. This is our proposal quote tool. We will begin by entering in the company. You will go to cell A3. The company name will be ABC Company. And then you'll click tab. A3 is important because it will also display the company's name on plan design tab down here at the bottom. It will display it here. So A3 is where you type the company's name. Now for these fields. Status can be found on the census sheet. The employee status will be employee only, EO, employee spouse, ES, employee child, EC, and family, F. Date of birth, also found on the employer census sheet. Employee name on the census sheet. Current rates will be found on the most recent invoice. We're going to skip over these fields. These fields have a formula in it, and once all the necessary information is inputted, it will populate for you. Annual income, also found on the employer census sheet. Number and household. Okay, so back to status. Let's pull up the employer census sheet. This is the employer census sheet. It's a very simple form. The employer just needs to input all the necessary information. It is very important that they provide you this in an Excel spreadsheet. That way you'll be able to copy and paste the information directly into the quote tool and you will not need to manually input line by line. So let's find the employee status. You will click on the first field, hold down shift on your keyboard, select the last field, release shift, then you'll right click anywhere within this gray shaded area, right click, copy. We will go back to the quote tool, to employee status, first field, right click, you're going to paste, select the first clipboard, and it will paste. There it goes. Let's go back to the census sheet to find date of birth. Find date of birth, select the first field, hold down shift, select the last field, right click in the shaded area, select copy, we'll go back to the proposal, select the first field in date of birth, right click, paste, Select the first clipboard, there you go. We'll go back to the census sheet for the employee's name. First field, hold down shift. Last field, right click in the shaded area. Copy. Back to the quote tool. Select the first field, right click, paste. We're going to skip over current rates for now and go to the annual family income. Let's go back to the census sheet. Annual income, select the first field, hold down shift, the last field, release shift, right click, copy. Then we're going to right click in the first field paste. 
number in household. Back to the census. First field, select shift, last field, right click, copy, back to proposal, then you right click and paste. That was our last copy and paste from the census sheet. Now we will fill in the current rates. The current rates can be found on the most recent invoice. And let me pull up an example of it and we're gonna look for James Smith on this invoice this is the invoice the employer provided from United Healthcare it gives a complete overview of every employee who's currently on the group coverage that does not necessarily mean it will have everyone for the private exchange everyone from the private exchange should be on this bill but you may have additional individuals. So let's find James Smith. I know he's pretty far down here. There he goes. So James Smith's current premium is $489.29, and we will input that on the quote tool. You double click on that field. We'll type in 489.29 and you'll tab over. It will round to the nearest dollar. That is how you will locate the current rate of every person. I have a quick cheat sheet on the census and I've already inputted everyone's current premium. So I'm going to copy and paste like I showed you earlier. And we're going to paste it in here okay so now we will hit the recalculate button this will do all the work for us as you can see it's populating line by line what the max out-of-pocket they will pay for the year this is the annual and over here is the monthly. You'll see that there are some zeros. The zero means that the individual has either fell below 100% of the poverty line or above 400% of the poverty line. In either cases, they are not sub they're not eligible for subsidy. So for Michael Adams, his annual income is 110 thousand dollars and there's only two people in his household that puts him at 709 percent of the poverty level so he's above it so in these cases that it does not pre-populate for us we will manually quote them what we our default quote is for north carolina or south carolina will be a coventry second cheapest silver plan to manually quote we will need to know what county Michael Adams lives in. In order to find out what county he lives in, we need to know his zip code, and we can find that on the census sheet. Michael Adams lives in 28227. That is Mecklenburg County. If you do not know the county, you can Google it, or you can use our quote to online at messerfinancial.com forward slash exchange software. And when you click on a new quote, it has an option where you enter the zip code and when you enter the zip code, it will give you the county. But he is in Mecklenburg County. Next, we will need to know his age, which I have already calculated. He is 33 years old. Next, we will pull up the Coventry rate chart. This is Coventry off exchange rates in North Carolina and we will locate Mecklenburg County, which is on page six. We're going underneath the silver copay and Michael is, we're gonna use non-smoking rates, 33. 
he is $276.95 a month. Now there's two of them. So we're going to quote two because it's employee spouse. So again, this is a quote and we're going to assume they're the same age. So 276 95 times 2 is 553.90. And go back to the quote tool. And we're going to input $553.90. And we'll tap over. Doing just one, I'm going to hit recalculate so you can see the change. Since it did not quote for us here, when you manually put in a quote here, it will populate in the basic and gold once you hit recalculate. We will do that for each person. Robert Graham, who happens to be in Mecklenburg County as well, is 29 years old. Let's go over. This will be our last example. And he's 29 and it's just him. 29 silver copay, 258.68. And you notice that it's not populated and there's $25 there. $25 is the built-in base rate because that is our TPA rate and that's the basic. As for the gold, it's $100. That includes our TPA and supplemental products. It's just a rough quote. It may go over, it may go under, but again, this is a quote. So we've put in, it's rounded up to $259. Let's hit recalculate one more time and it has changed to 84. So to save time, I'm just going to put 259 in there for the rest of them. Let's recalculate it one last time. Line 27 shows the projected savings. 57.9% is the amount of savings you will provide for the employer if they switch from group to private exchange. We're not done yet. We still need to do the plan overview.